Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Preach it. Judge Janine says that Jeff Sessions is the most dangerous person in the U.S. government today. Now, for months, we have argued that Jeff Sessions is dangerous. In November of 2017, we called him the modern-day Benedict Arnold for not investigating Obama and Clinton's Uranium One scandal. And to this day, Jeff Sessions remains AWOL. Now, tonight, Judge Janine stated that Sessions is the most dangerous person in the corrupt deep state. On her weekly show on Fox News, Judge Janine, in her opening statement, said that Attorney General Jeff Sessions is the most dangerous person in the U.S. government. And all the while, the Department of Justice and the FBI sit back and watch as their candidate approved the sale of 20% of our uranium to Russia and then pocket $145 million for their so-called charity. All the while, the Clinton Foundation receives hundreds of millions of dollars from people doing business with the U.S. government, our government. And when Jeff Sessions decides to recuse himself, Rod Rosenstein, a man we have never even heard of, appoints his pal Bob Mueller to investigate our president. And this week, we find out the FBI ran a spy operation, actually placing an informant, a mole, in the Trump campaign before there were any legal grounds to do any such thing. It was a classic totalitarian third world tactic. This person has as much as been identified. He's engaged in skullduggery going back to Bush 41. My FBI sources tell me there would be no reason for him to even run into a page or a Papadopoulos and get this, he's disappeared for the last nine months. Now, I want you to remember that you heard it here first. Any collector, their name for an informant working on a national campaign, must have a sign-off by the Attorney General. Here, that would be liar Loretta Lynch. Lynch herself would have had to have approved an informant on that campaign. And if she didn't, then the FBI under James Comey was even more corrupt going rogue in their attempt to destroy Donald Trump. But what, ladies and gentlemen, is unmistakable in all of this is that the single most dangerous person to the agenda of President Trump, the Republican Party, and ultimately to all Americans, is the Attorney General of the United States himself, Jeff Sessions. The man has done nothing to make anyone responsible for the blatant corruption, the unmistakable perjury, the in-your-face obstruction of our laws that we've seen play out every day. He has fought the release of telling documents that would put an end to this horrible period in America's political history. Documents that would make clear that the criminals in this attempt to overthrow an American president. He's even argued that he doesn't want to release records of Hillary because she's now a private citizen. This man has done nothing to create confidence that wrongdoers will be accountable, answerable. He has done nothing to create confidence in the part, on the part of the American people in our system of justice. And with all the power and might of the Department of Justice behind him, he continues to do nothing. He refuses to take them out in cuffs. The most powerful prosecutor in the world, the man who holds the scales of justice in his hands, hides behind the coattails of a Rod Rosenstein, a man we've never even heard of, who is in fact behind all of Jeff Sessions' decision, who is in fact running our Department of Justice. The man who has the honor to carry the prefix United States Attorney General before his name, Jeff Sessions, is indeed the most dangerous man in America. And that's my open. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.